Welcome one and all, I'm Alexis aka The Stop The Reader and I'm here today to do a video about books that I predict will receive five stars from me. I know this has been pretty popular going around booktube recently. It looks like a lot of fun to try and guess which book she'll give five stars to. All of the ones I picked I think are pretty hyped and or popular books. So it's more that I'll be really, really, really surprised if I don't rate these five stars. The first one out of the gate is one that I am like 99.99999% sure I will rate five stars. And that is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I've only read Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I have tried to remain pretty low spoilers for this series, but I know the little snippets here and there that I've heard just go so up like my alley of what I like to read about. So I'm, I'm fairly confident that I'll rate this one really high. The next one I'm going to mention is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. This is a book that is a lot about grief and love, you know, finding a way to move on once something horrible has happened to your life and weighing that in with like the value of, of life and the world and stuff. And uh, it just very much sounds like something I really will enjoy. And especially because I've heard that like the main character in this book and like watching him go through the struggle of this book is just really endearing. And I know people absolutely love this book and I'm hoping that I really will too. The next one I'm going to mention is actually a classic and that is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Um, I don't think I've ever actually heard anybody say they didn't love this book. Um, and I know that it's, it's a little on the creepy side and it has, you know, that Moorish feel to it. I'm really, really excited to read this one. This is going to be one of my 2018 picks to read, and I'm really, really excited, and I just really, really hope I like it. Um, a lot of booktubers and bloggers that I really trust all love this book, and I'm just hoping I will love it too. The next one I'm going to mention is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. Again, this is a book that's gotten a lot of praise on booktube. Um, I think I'll really like this book for two reasons. The first is that I know that there's a little bit of a mixed media element in this book, and I've kind of flipped through the first half of this book to look at it, and I'm really intrigued by what I've seen, and I also know that this book um, is cute but it also deals a lot with like mental illness and like the struggle of being an artist and stuff and that all sounds really really interesting to me so yes I really have high hopes that I'll like this one and I really hope that I do. The next one I'm going to mention is War Cross by Marie Lu. This is the most recent release that I'm going to mention. Um, uh, this is twofold the first being that I haven't disliked a single Marie Lu thing I've read yet um, and the second is that the setting in this book just sounds incredible. I'm very much here for a virtual reality, like, video game setting, and I've heard that the setting is one of the things people like the most about this book. So yes, I, I mean, I genuinely don't see myself rating this below a four stars, but I'm hoping it'll be a five for me. The next one I'm going to mention is Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. Um, this is another book that when I look at all of the things it has in it, it ticks like all of my boxes. Not only is there a female-female romance in this book that I have heard is cavity-inducing, it's so cute, um, but I know that the main character, Emmy, has a lot to do with film, and she wants to be, I think, like a set designer, and you guys know I love it when books include a film element to it or characters who are very much into film. You guys know I love that stuff. And so, like, I just hope that when I finally get around reading this book, I will absolutely fall in love with both the characters and the romance and all of the little nerdy film knowledge that I hope it will bring. The next one I'm going to mention is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Uh, this is a big book that I've heard is, like, 700 pages of pure emotional turmoil, but I've also heard a lot of people say that, like, they always feel like they take something out of this book. Like, this book puts them through hell, and then once they've come out on the other side, they always feel like they've just, like, undergone, like, an experience with this book. And I don't mind books that are, you know, sad and look at people's lives and the effect that things have on them and the choices that they make and stuff, and I very much heard that that's the kind of book that this is. So I definitely think that I will hate reading this book, but that I will ultimately end up loving this book if that makes sense. The next one I'm going to mention is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Uh, I pretty much have a bunch of reasons why I think I'll rate this one very highly. The first being that it is obviously about the Trojan War, which is something that I find fascinating to begin with. But I've also heard that the writing in this book is just really beautiful 
and this is another book that is ultimately very sad but I also just have heard a bunch of my Goodreads friends and stuff all just praise this book so much and so I'm really hoping this is another one that I'll end up really loving. Alrighty guys, so those are the eight books that I predict I will give five stars to. Um, I think all of these have really high ratings on Goodreads. Part of the reason I think I'll give them really high ratings is because I know a lot of other people have given them high ratings, people whose opinions I really trust. Um, but I hope I really end up loving every book that's in this stack. I hope that they become new favorite books of mine. If not, well then maybe I'll make another video a year from now talking about all of the books that have horribly disappointed me. You guys should let me know down below what's a book you think you'll be rating five stars or if you want to tell me what you rated any of these books I'd absolutely love to know. I upload videos on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays and I'll see you guys soon with another one.